Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Malt Reviews. That's Mikey, I'm Narby. We have reached whiskey review number 100. Um, it's been a fun journey sharing um, a lot of our whiskeys and our reviews with you guys. And we obviously want to make whiskey review number 100 a really, really, really special one. Um, so we have an absolutely incredible sample here uh, from mind-blowingly highly 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 collectible one of the most collectible bottles in the world one of the more expensive bottles you could buy too uh, we have a sample here of Karizawa 1964 this was bottled in 2012 making it a 48 year old Karizawa this is cask number 3603, bottled at 57.7% ABV. This particular Karazawa is widely known as is one of the better ones, if not the absolute best one. There's only 143 bottles of this bottled. <clears throat> and it, in the collector's world, as you guys know, Japanese whiskey, especially Karazawa, is some of the most sought after stuff, and this one being right up there at the very, very top. If not, maybe there's like one bottle that's more sought after, but this is right up there. Um, there's one that's older, it's a 1960, but uh, this is just an absolute treat. We've read about this whiskey, we see it at auctions from time to time but you just never dream of being able to try it. Um, there's currently one bottle available on a, a site that delivers worldwide, and it's at $47,000. So we are about to try a whiskey that's really, really expensive. And believe it or not, this little sample right here from Astra of Malt was $2,200. So that's just for one ounce. Just really, really shows you um, how expensive and valuable this whiskey is. It's something that we never thought we'd be able to try, but w once we saw the sample, we realized the opportunity is there, and we've picked it to do as our whiskey review number 100. Um, there's, I mentioned there's 143 of these were bottled, and they were bottled for Wealth Solutions, which um, is a Polish investment company, and all the bottles went to members of them. So they, 143 of the bottles went for this Polish investment company, and I'm assuming a few of them probably opened it, and I'm sure a lot of them put it out at auctions and sold them and made a whole bunch of money. Um... So obviously the value of this thing just keeps going up and it's only going to keep going up. So a 48 year old Karazawa, 1964. I'll put a link, I'll put a link below um, so you guys can see a full image of how beautiful this bottle is. Comes in a very nice box um, and everything like that. All right, this has been breathing for a good amount, a little over 30 minutes, really letting this thing breathe. And this has a nice, rich copper color. It's approaching that amber color. Yeah. Just beautiful. Um, 50, mm -hmm. 57 point seven. That's nuts. That's crazy, considering huh. that it's been sitting in, in yeah. aging for a little bit over forty eight years. I mean, if you, you know, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I just swirled it and in the glass and it's just, it's just gluing on. It's, oh yeah, it's thick. It yeah, move. just beautiful. All right. I have been, as it's been sitting here breathing, I have been nosing it. Both of us have been nosing it here and there a little bit, being able to pick up some notes already, mm. um, but on the nose. so wow and, and you obviously have such high expectations and, and, and it can easily be disappointed with an investment like this but no it's it just oozes with exotic woods and 
all these Japanese spices. You know it's Japanese whiskey when you get it, but then right away you get that different uniqueness. You're like, wow, I can really get it. It's got exotic teas, exotic woods, exotic spices. It just oozes up with fruit, kumquats, um, guava, and, 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 and mango jam, and orange liqueur. It's just oozing, oozing with those very, very sweet, sweet candied, candied fruits. It's just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Playing around is so, so, so complex. I'll let Mike add to that. Yeah, it's gonna, it might take a while for it to go through its evolution and go back and forth and figure out what it wants to be. But yeah, I get uh, very much on uh, citrus elements, uh, bitter orange and uh, clementines and like super stewed mandarin oranges, tangerine, uh, kiwi, nectarine, strawberries, mango, apple, passion fruit. I'm even getting dark cherries and overripe red berry fruits. Yeah, now it's definitely going into, I mean, like I said, evolution. It's changing and now it's going into more of the red fruits, like thick stewed fruits, you're cooking them, jam, strawberry jam, boysenberry jam, uh, apple, apricot, plum. It's just back and forth. But like Narby said, the biggest thing is it is, it's like sandalwood and all these exotic, unique woods that you'd wanna either have like in a candle or burn like incense. And all these exotic spices, Indian spices, Japanese spices, even like some, uh, some of that, that thick soy sauce, like kind of barbecue sauce, soy sauce, like, plum jam element and then that moves into like very dark rich cola it's got everything it's really got that 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 mango like old 50s bowmore kind of like mm. just mango oozing it's it's mineral in some ways it's mm. getting red currants honeys Yeah, that, that papaya and mangoes in yeah. there along with that exotic wood and that. exotic spice. It's just that sweetness and the fruitiness. This is not like the other Karazawas we've tried at all. No. This is very, very different from the other ones. And we've tried, I don't know how many we've tried, probably like five or six Karazawas. This one is, is definitely different. It's so, so complex getting so, so, so many different things, but I can't get over that beautiful, like, richness, like those kumquats and, like, the tangerines and the oranges. They're so sweet and, and in the most beautiful way I've ever experienced those kind of fruits. And then with the papaya and mango jams coming in and the red overripe fruits, oh, just really, 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 really beautiful, 57.7%. And the, the, the craziest thing is, you know, it's sherry cask, it's 48 years old, but it's almost like what I imagine it. I've never tried it, but I hear that the unique Japanese Mizunara oak casks are some of the best. Like obviously there's Yamazaki 1984, there's a cask of Yamazaki 1979 that's world famous, but it's almost like if you didn't tell me this was sherry, I would think it might be some combination of maybe good old sherry and that Mizunara oak because the, the uniqueness of these exotic woods, I've never had any other whiskey. Yeah, this is different. This is different. Where I'm gonna, is... I'm gonna suspect based on what I've heard, it's an old Japanese whiskey if I knew nothing else about it. And I'm really getting that in here. I've never had it before in my life. It's mind blowing. But still, yeah, all those, all those crystallized, candied, gummy bear type, I mean, exotic fruits. Exotic versions of the kind of fruits we're talking about, like passion fruit, star fruit, dragon fruit, but the most exotic version that you can imagine. It's mind-blowing. It really, really is mind-blowing. There's so much more going on here, and, and, and there are certain things where words don't even come out. I'm trying to do it justice... But there's stuff going on here where, where you experience it, but you just like don't even know what to say. It's like crazy. It's crazy it's, on that, it's, it's like that kind of level. Yeah. yeah, you could literally spend hours and hours with something like this just to dig in and find new things. But it's, it's ecstasy on the nose so far. I, I hope the palate 
matches up. Try it on the pallet. It's nuts. It's like try, it's a hybrid of everything. I imagine this can handle some water, but let's try it on the pallet the way yes, it is. For sure. Anything in this. Kumquats, blood orange. So fruity on the pilot still, you would think that it's got a nice big attack. You would think that because the nose is so fruity, it's so old, that you wouldn't get all those fruits. But you're getting all of that melon, honeydew melon, mango jam, that orange liqueur. It's all those same things, those, those exotic spices that... The Japanese forest like, it's almost like, oh, whew, really, really getting almost all of what you got on the nose on the palate as well. It was a spice, it was a spicy attack at first, but I'm getting zero woodiness on my palate right now. Well, I'm getting, yeah, I mean, not, not in a bad way and not overly drying, but the, the taste of those exotic woods, like, like sandalwood. If you've had a candle like that, the best sandalwood flavors possible. I'm getting that, which is great. But yeah, Narvi brought up the, the like Japanese forest floor earthiness. That's what I forgot to mention. Also with some of those Mizunara oak, uh, either single casks or blends, they talk about the unique Japanese earthiness, like forest floor, or like a Japanese rainforest where it's been raining for a week straight. And you can just imagine the raindrops coming off the leaves and how fresh and how damp it is in the air. And I'm getting all that too. I'm getting that very heavy on the palate as well. But also again, on the citrus fruits, the oranges, the clementines, tangerines, uh, kiwi again, for sure kumquat, mango and passion fruit, always coming through super strong. So the palate is matching up very nicely with the nose in terms of the fruits. The water, the water just highlights the fruity elements of this that much more. Mm. You don't necessarily, you don't lose anything. You don't lose any complexity. You just add, I'm almost getting, it almost gets like sweaty. You're like sweating, like you're walking. What I mean by sweaty is that like the fruits are sweating down that like, that like forest that the Japanese forest is sweating down on you. Like yeah. Humid. Yeah. Rain it's, forest. oh, it's, that's what it is. It's like the whiskey got like more humid. It's really, really weird well, to explain. That's what I'm thinking is, is it, is it the Mizunara oak or is it just like with Bowmore, how, uh, they age it underground or in a certain climate? Is it the climate, the Japanese climate, whether it's sherry or bourbon or Mizunara, the overall Japanese climate, the way that they age this in the warehouses, it obviously penetrates the wood, and that's what creates this. How we, we we did read about what they did with the with the cask. Is it was it underground? I'm not sure. You I don't know, but it, I I know it's a certain area, a certain special area where they would age their older casks with the warehouses they had. I don't know, but like I know, like with Bowmore, that certain spot on the island of Isla, there's something that it does that those mangoes and tropical fruits are like no other distillery on Isla for the most part, and I'm getting the same thing with this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this again with, with, with the addition of a little bit of water, bringing it closer to 50% ABV. Juicy fruit. Wow. You ever had juicy fruit gum? Mm -hmm. All very, very fruity and very, very sweet. It's so unique because it's 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 an attack of 
spiciness along with the fruits, but within five seconds, the spiciness, 80% of the spiciness completely goes away and you're just left with all those fruity and unique sandalwood and exotic tea. It's got, it's got like mm -hmm. a drying tea element. Tea, poor tea and different crazy teas. Yeah, yeah. It leaves Try you, tea. Yeah, it leaves you with that kind of like element. The drying effects are mm -hmm. more like tea, exotic teas. Pleasant. And then it just rushes with the fruits. It's so unique. It's, um, again, very different from other Karazawas. Um, truly, truly a special, special product. This is... Crazy! I actually it obviously do. Takes water very well. <laughs> Let's try a little bit yeah, more water. Yeah, exactly. It got way better, mainly on the palate, but yeah, way better. Just the crazy, like Narvi said, juiciest fruit elements possible, coming more to the foreground, right in the front of your palate, and just more dominant. But still, the exotic woods, exotic oils, spices. Like you said the, the best tasting teas, like really, really good sweet chai tea but a little bitter, a little spicy as well. All in the background, all there in the perfect way. And just the, the wood play, the oak, is just perfect how they aged it. You know, the more water you add, the more those kumquats and tangerines and papaya and mango and that just keeps coming out more. And I feel like the water perhaps takes away from the sandalwood and, and, yeah. and, and, and exo Balance. exotic spices a little bit, but it just keeps rush, rushing out mm. those other fruity elements. And I would say that one is not necessarily better than the other. I like to experience wow. the nose on all levels. The way it is, a little bit of water, and then with a little bit more water, experience the whiskey in those those three different ways. Keep adding a little bit at a time and just truly get the full experience of what the whiskey can do. At, at this strength, you have the luxury of being able to do that. Yeah, I'm getting, yeah, just like Narby said, the more water, the fruits, just more fruits, more exotic, more unique, just coming out so strong. But still getting all those exotic wood, sandalwood spices. Like this is just, it's approaching perfection. All right. Final sip with the additional water. Now this is below 50% ABV. Let's try it for one final test on the palate. Oh. oh, man. The palate should absolutely have the amount of water that we, we use for this. This became, this became an exotic Japanese whiskey meets crazy 1950s Bowmore kind of fruits. With the mangoes and the papaya and the melon. Mushrooms. The most mm. amazing forest forest mushrooms you've ever had in your life. Nose your glass empty. Everything. Just 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 put your nose to it empty. Oh, it's so powerful. <whistles> this might be the most complex whiskey I've ever had in my life. This is it's up there, man. This is absolutely incredible. The cool one of the coolest elements of this is. Oh my God. Nose mm. and palate meet very, very, so very close. close. So yeah, close. yeah. I, I'd give that tiniest edge to the nose. But mm. usually with this kind of aging, it's much better on the nose, you know? So it's really close right there. Oh the other part is the not overly drying effects. It no, doesn't have that. Insane. The amount of fruits you get from such an aged whiskey, it didn't just... The, the cask didn't take over too much and just push that. It allowed all those fruits to remain. Just absolute, from absolute way of displaying the spirit, displaying the cask that it's been sitting, the aging, just all the way around. An absolute incredible whiskey. Is it 
you could find it for a little cheap. You could find it for cheaper probably at auctions than forty seven thousand dollars. <laughs> of course, it's not worth forty seven thousand dollars. Is Maybe. it worth? <laughs> yeah. Is it worth to pay twenty two hundred dollars? But hell yeah. <laughs> to try it, it's if it's 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 relative. You you if your goal is to not is to try every whiskey out there in the world and, and, and this has to is on the bucket list. It's one of those things that you do. It's relative, you know, it's kinda like don't take a vacation and, and try try a whiskey. It's kinda like that. It's like taking a vacation. It's like you don't do one or you do the other. Um but when it's your big, big, big passion, I guess you're kinda willing to be a little crazy with it. Um Obviously an absolute treat. This totally made my month. Um, for me, for me, this is a. I I want to give it a crazy score. Um, it's 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 between a ninety six and a ninety seven for me, but just because I'm only trying it once and I don't know for sure which one, I'm gonna stick with a ninety six. But I wouldn't have a problem giving it a ninety seven. But for me, I'm gonna score it at ninety six. I have a feeling if I had this a full bottle of it and I kept trying it, I would be very comfortable going up to 97, but I'm going to stick with 96 to be safe. I'm going to give it 97. Yeah. So it's right there. You combine both our scores, it's a 96 and a half. I, I, that's pretty much, if I give half points, that's what I would have given it. So it's it's right up there with the finest, finest oh. of all time. Most so, complex. All right, you guys. We'll see you guys soon. Um, for another malt review and uh, please subscribe click the like button. I do want to mention something um, We were gonna do our very favorite whiskey that we own that we've tried um, As our whiskey number 100 the, the, the reason why I didn't do it is actually just uh, we decided that we want to wait and see if we could get to a thousand subscribers before we we release that video maybe we won't get to a thousand subscribers, but uh, we figured that would be kind of a fair thing. Wait to get to that point to bring out our very, very favorite. So that's kind of going to be it. Whenever that happens, we'll, uh, if it happens, we'll bring out um, that bottle and review it. It's our very, very favorite. We do have a full bottle of it. All right, you guys. We'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Cheers.